and take a look at what we've got here though. Shouldn't be too bad, I think. Mill and Chill in for the quad trap thrill. There you go. Sultai Mill. Sultai Lagoon is what it was called by Mortal Kill Zone. You better see some four turn kills. Turn four kills, we'll try. So what is this doing that's different than the Demir? Variations of Mill. So Mill itself has the crab package with Ruin Crabs and Hedron Crabs. We have Archive Traps here as well. These things make sense. Maddening Cacophony and Glimpse the Unthinkable. What's different though is that we're splashing into green. And what does green give us? Well, it gives us Assassin's Trophy, which is pretty powerful. Good removal piece. Gives us a card called Binding of the Titans. Binding of the Titans has three modes. It's a Saga card. I'm a big fan of these Saga cards. And this one says each player mills three. Sweet. Then you get to exile two cards from a graveyard. And for every creature, you gain one. So you could gain two. So it's a gain. It's a mill three, gain two. And then it has the last piece, which is return target creature or land from your graveyard to your hand. What's super nice about this is we've already experienced where Blood Moon was played. We went and grabbed our island and continued playing magic like nothing had ever happened. You could also play this, have Luris. Luris gets killed, but you played a Binding of Titans off of Luris and you can recur your Luris back several times. Sweet. Finally. Oh yeah, Assassin's Trophy does turn on Archive Trap. That's crazy. Last thing, though, for the green splash here is Splendid Reclamation. It's basically the reverse of a scape shift, and with a few crabs out there, it could be lethal. Splendid Reclamation reads, return all land cards from your graveyard to your battlefield. And considering that Binding of Titans is milling yourself a little bit, and you could potentially mill yourself with Hedron Crab once or twice to hopefully hit one or two more lands to then blast your opponent, it's a pretty sweet finisher. Sideboard is of the variety that a mill list will have. That is Cling to Dust, Extirpates, Fatal Pushes, Crypt Incursions, Ravenous Traps, Glimpse the Unthinkables over here in case we don't want as many Assassin's Trophies or other cards. Maybe Splendid Reclamation's a no-go. Got some Soul Guide Lanterns, a Profane Memento here, and a Luris. We're going to run Mortal Kill Zone's list card for card because I tried to adjust it and then I started losing. I ran into Dredge like four times. And I laughed because the card I changed was Ravenous Trap. Ha! Let's go play Magic. Let's go. Enough of the deck tech. You guys aren't here for the deck tech. You're here for the, the music, actually. I, I, I know. Let's make sure we're queued up with the right list here. And let's play some Mill. This is some interesting music. We'll let it roll for a little bit. Maybe after one or two leagues, we'll switch to another playlist. I have to see which playlists I like. It's kind of like beatboxing in the back or something. How's everyone's Sunday going? Happy Sunday. We were making it more than halfway through your weekend. That's never a good thing to hear. It's not as catchy as when we're on Wednesday and we say, welcome to halfway through your week. Cause that's exciting because you're approaching the weekend. This just this is just ending your weekend. We wait for house news. House news. What what's house news? What is what is house news? Oh your house, your house. I'm like, what is house news? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Nice. I hope you get it. This is offer number 10. Dang. You'll, you'll get there. We offered on a house. We actually ended up getting our offer accepted contingent on an inspection. And we inspected the house. We're not living in that house. <laughs> Let's join our match here. Hello, Matt MTG. What's going on? Uh, it's not an early stream. It's just a stream. This is, after all, Sunday. All right. This is the story of my magic career right now. Do we keep this beautiful two-lander with Archive Trap, double Fatal Push, and double Ruin Crab without an island? Hmm. <laughs> mm. This could be so great. It'd be fantastic. We just like not playing magic. 
Nice. Can I just say something really quick? We're here to mill, chill, and remember that magic is a fun game. This last two mulligans, we're only two mulligans in, is literally the story of my last 50 matches. Welcome to the losing stream. Even better, even better. What's up, bunny? How you doing? All right, I guess, I guess we're binding them. <laughs> uh, ditch two bindings here. Go get Triome and hope it for the best. Check this hand out. It's three of a kind. I guess we'll keep. I guess just two bindings in case we want to fatal push something, right? I mean, that's got to be the right answer. <laughs> Did you get another sub gifted to you? I have no idea. Please no Blood Moon, please no Blood Moon. What are you talking about? We got the binding. It's gonna be perfect. Watch, watch, we'll be fine. We just go get something, binding's gonna get us back our land, we're perfect. All right, my opponent appears to be burn strategies, I guess. Stoneforge Mystic, huh? Well, I feel like I need to Fatal Push this. Naya Stoneforge. The Batter Skull. Let's go ahead and fetch Shock Watery Grave here. And Fatal Push. I think I want some Mesmeric Orb next. Because I'm sure it will mill them a lot more over the course of the game. So let's go ahead and do that. We can work on Maddening, we can get the Lurus back as well, and we've got Binding, so... This coming turn, who knows what we want to do. There's Mirror Orb. Alright, I'm not feeling this playlist. Let's find a different playlist. This, this playlist is not, not working for me. Stop playing. We're gonna do the Lo-Fi one. It's Christmas lo-fi, apparently. Look, it's Blood Moon. Nice. My opponent's playing Sacred Foundry Stomping Ground into Blood Moon. I love my life. I love it. All right, we got this, though. We, we got him. All right, let's go ahead and Binding of the Titans here. Binding of the Titans is going to mill us some, but we're gonna be looking for basics, actually. We might even mill ourselves a little bit more with the Mesmeric Orb. All right, we go over a Binding and double lands that are both mountains. Let's keep these graveyards a little more present for everybody. What's up, little Donnie? How's it going? Yeah, I like this lo-fi stuff. This is not as crazy beats in the background. We'll keep it on this. We need some chill. It says a very lo-fi Christmas. There we go, I need some Christmas. All right, Season Pyromancer. One of six, we can do it, we can do it, mortal. We got this. We got this, in a way I wanna, I'm gonna top deck Basic Island, I'm gonna mill Basic Swamp. You watch, it's gonna be perfect. Let's float our mana here so we mill more. We could even just get a crab and then we could splendid reclamation. There's the island. Okay. <laughs> this game's easy. All right. I'm going to exile the season pyromancer. And I guess a stone forge is probably okay. Or the blood braid. Either one's fine. <sighs> game's easy, guys. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. All right. So. Because we're going to be picking up basically Archive Trap here, I think I kind of want to do, what, Kicker here on this? Which means I'll do Archive Trap into this, or do I just want to Maddening right now? What's up, Stip? Grayus we are, because we need, we need Stream Beats in our lives. I don't know if like maddening makes sense here. I did not freeze. I, I'm, I'm I hope I didn't freeze. I, I kinda wanna get this Lurus to hand. I know Lurus is so far away here. 
We can return the second island and archive trap. It's 21 when they mill as well. I, I guess maddening just makes sense here. Just like fire this off and then we'll archive trap them. Oh my gosh, they have boom bust. This is really happening to me. Please don't cast that card. Mill three. I like this jam. I'm feeling this. It's it's very Christmassy. We 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 just had a whole bunch of snow in Texas. I understand what everyone means when they say a white Christmas now. Blood Moon and Boom Bust, my favorites, exactly. I swear, if they have Boom Bust here and take my island, I'm going to throw them off a cliff. Never again, please, I know, right? All right, Binding, we even talked about this in the precursor leading up. Please, 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 please. Just, just crack the clue. Okay. This could be a lot worse. I think I have three islands. I do. So we'll get our second island here. And we're doing that because I have an archive trap. Oh my gosh. We're gonna only mill a little bit here. I, I just need this island now. Got a crab now. So play islands. We top deck Reclamation? You could, you could, but we don't have the forest. Or no, it's the one forest. So I just archive trap here, right? Mill 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And my opponent just has to try to beat us from there. We don't play cheeky with the Ruin Crab here because the Ruin Crab's only mill three. Boom. Go ahead and untap. You still have to attack me. Boom, look at them, look at them orbs. Look at them orbs. What else do we have in here? Ran and Six, Raging, Boom Busts, Blood Braids, Pillages. All right, so how does my opponent get out of this? They pillage here. They swing for three, four, five, six, seven. And they need one other spell. They need one other spell because seven and seven doesn't get it. So they could actually, they could pillage swing and then they could try to swing again and I can ruin crab the block, but they don't know I have a ruin. Cra oh no, they do. Cause I binding it. There's a few things they could do to get out of this. How many pillage do I see? There's a blood braid elf. Okay. Spins in two. <laughs> oh my gosh. They spin into the pillage. Oh my gosh, I need a land or a maddening or a splendid reclamation, which I have one in the yard. An orb. I have a lot of outs. I have a lot of outs here. My opponent has one card in their library. It is a wooded foothills. I could even extirpate the wooded foothills. No, I can't. I can surgical it. Tracker. Clue. They will not pop this. Land is an out, orb is an out. Archive trap is an out. Binding is an out. Maddening's an out. Please, any of those. I have so many. One time. No, oh my gosh, okay. I know it's a wooded foothills. It has to be, right? Because I'm just gonna double check. But I'm pretty sure that's what they milled over because I cleared it out. So it's a wooded foothills, right? And we have a wooded, we do have a wooded foothills. It's one, two. I mean, I only see two. This is it, this is it, this is it. Wooded foothills. Look at that library. Look at that one of in the library. Get out of here. Here, I'm gonna take all the nom 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 nom. What an out. What an out. Slam down the crab. Make a statement. Pass the turn. There was three. We got it. What's up, Cam Draven? We did it. This is stressful. I thought we were going to mill and chill. 
Game one's already so stressful. Oblivion, so or when? Ooh. <laughs> okay, so we're against little creatures with a Naya package. We got pillages and blood moons as well. My opponent's going to be searching quite a bit, so Archive Trap seems decent. They're in white, which means they could be playing Rip. They've got Boom Bust. They've got just everything going on. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Maybe Fatal Push, Crypt Incursions, and Glimpses, maybe? This all seems okay. Like, do I even bother with the Surgicals and Extirpates? Cam? <laughs> no, please stay. We need more, more of that. That was a skill win. Thanks. Whew. Boosting the ego here. I mean, I think I just want these crypt incursions, obviously. Surgical is the best mill card. Oh my gosh. My opponent has to attack us quite a bit. This Miracle Orb maybe isn't the best card, though. Only because my opponent doesn't have to necessarily attack with too many creatures. And if we don't get ahead of them, it could be a problem. The trophy does get rid of the moon, so we can fetch pro properly for that. Do I want the Profane Memento as well? Maybe I don't want these Glimpses because they're super hard to cast. Maybe we're taking the one Glimpse out. Kind of taking these in and bringing these five in. Removal and ways to gain life. And then I can probably fetch blue black pretty quick. Calico, we're trying. We're trying. I kind of like these. I don't know, because you could also potentially surgical away a pillage, which would be really good. You could surgical away a blood moon, which isn't bad either. I don't know if it's worth one of Surgical, though. I don't think so. Let's try this, and let's send it back. You glimpse against things you want to Surgical? Fair enough. All right. We had to mull twice there, too. It was a good win. Oh my gosh, what are lands? Can someone explain to me what a basic land is? I don't know what those are. I only know what mountains are, and there's no mountains in this list. Let's mulligan. Okay. Uh, I'm really afraid to ditch a land here because my opponent's playing a thousand and one blood moon pillage effects, boom busts. It's a card that blood moon ignores. Very happy to catch you on stream. Thank you so much for all the content. Thank you for viewing and watching. Thanks for stopping by as well. All right, I think this is a keeper. It's just a matter of what are we putting back. Part of me almost wants to put back the Maddening. Another part of me wants to put back a Triome here. You know what? I'm going to put back a Triome. I feel risky, but maybe if I put Mesmeric Orb down, they'll want to pillage that. So let's give it a shot. And then the last card we'll be putting down is Misty Rainforest here, probably. There's a, there's a Maddening. Nice. Okay, so Polluted Delta, probably going to go fetch a basic island. We don't have to fetch anytime soon, though, and we can avoid a Boom Bust. You think the Triumph is what we put back? Well, we're smart. We did that. Search. Why didn't I uh, use this archive trap? It's because we want them to think they're okay. We're fine. We're fine, everyone. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, use archive trap, you you dum dum. I'm fine. Bits for every win again? I can't take your bits like that. That's just rude. Now we have a binding too. All right, let's go ahead and get that green source now. All the basics. I think I want to go ahead and expose an orb here. Exposing the orb here to me is the smartest play because if they have the pillage, they're going to want to get rid of the orb. Obviously, I'm helping them by letting them pick up now a flagstone with run in six. Okay. 
We have a lot of mill in hand. What's super nice here is if they pillage, they probably want to go after the island. Our forest is probably safer, which allows me to do the binding to eventually get the island back in the future. Ooh, we play Temple Garden instead of that Arab Mesa. And they ping me for one. What? They ping me for one? That is your play? Ping me for one and do nothing but shock in because you don't like orb? You gotta be kidding me. They didn't even pick up their flagstones. Okay, what's going on here? All right. We're gonna put field down past turn. We're gonna force the search here if my opponent doesn't archive or doesn't Arid Mesa. We'll then archive trap, getting basic island, play swamp next turn, maddening, maddening, and just go with that. All right, they're fetching. <laughs> Salty Lagoon is too spoopy for opponent. All right, we have a Blood Braid. I'm actually going to go ahead and do the Archive Trap in response to this to try to hit some of the stuff out of their library. They would have hit a Sword of Feast and Famine as the first thing, so that's cool. Glad we avoided that, because that's kind of a nasty card. Whole Untap, though. That would have been funny. Stoneforge Mystic. <laughs> did I hit the Batter Skull? I did not. Who needs Batter Skull in their life anyway? All right, my opponent goes and gets a Batter Skull here. They're gonna tap Blood Braid Swing. This is a mill of one, two, three, four, five. If I wanna do double maddening, I have to fetch here with the Field of Ruin. So it's a mill of four. They ping me again, that jerk. I think we, I think we do this though. We'll hit the red source. <clears throat> I know this may be unlocking something, but we're gonna get our other island so I can double maddening now. Dang it, crab. What are you doing here? One, two, three, four, plus 16 is 20. 20. 23, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 maybe. If I do double maddening now and then plan to crab land binding. But I won't have this land anymore, so I'd need to do the crab here. I could return a crab in the future if I do binding. I'm gonna gain life with binding. We maybe hold on on the maddenings. Let's do crab here. Land and binding, I think. We'll hold up black like it matters. Maybe my opponent will leave the black land alone. All right. Yeah, I think double cacophony here is, is not a bad idea. We might mill this extra card here for us as well. We ended up going over a Crypt Incursion, unfortunately. Exactly. We could pick up a land. We can pick up a future crab. Um, Double Maddening here is 16, and they're at 20. So we just need them to mill four. Tacking is how they're killing me. So this could be, this could be enough. And if they have a Blood Moon or something like that, that's not really doing much. A Pillage on an Island would be painful. That would be okay. They pick up a land is what it looked like. Did we, did we pick up a land? Oh, we picked up a blood braid or something. I don't know what, I don't know what we're doing. This batter skulls in hand and they get a pillage. Pillage kills the orb here. So it's not any more mill, which it's funny cause they have to go after the orb. Another blood braid. Okay. Path us. Pathing us gives us the potential of getting a mesmeric orb in the future. They hit us for six, seven. Uh, pick up a land.
So we get rid of two creatures here. So now I can Luris. I can actually Luris and play Luris. I shock to do so. I could kick the spell now and then die. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I play Luris, I'm blocking a Blood Braid. Shock in, I'm at six. Block here, negate this. One, two, go to six. Binding picks up Luris. Binding picks up Crab. Crab with Splendid wins game. <laughs> Six months of keeping one landers. We need a one lander, right? Yeah, it looks like Luris is going to have to be it. And just see what they do with the Luris here. Like, the best draw there probably was, like, something along the lines of a Crypt Incursion instead. Depending on how they attack here, I could, like, rebuy Luris and Mesmeric Orb or something. And continuously block. I could also pick up a Crab. Or pick up Luris, Crab, and Maddening and just try to buy us enough time here blocking and gaining life. This one's close. Nydia, I think that's a really good idea for it and a moat, but I don't know how it would look if we did one lander. Like, you don't even have to put an X or anything over it. You just say one lander. That's all you do. All right, we're blocking this, obviously. Board stream hype? Why is it a board stream? We negate everything here because of the Bloodbraid Elf and the Lurus. We end up trading away as well, so it's less attacking us. That's good. I guess depending on what we top deck here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dagger. <laughs> they don't even have a land. They're just like, we're good. I I guess I get a land now, right? I just get an island here and hope for the best. Or do I get something like a rune crab? I'm taking three, four, five. I don't I don't have an out here. I mean I guess this should be a watery grave than an island. Morning, afternoon, evening, puppy, good day. Chat, what's up, Shade? Rune crab. <laughs> the crab jam. Alright, looks like my opponent gets us here. Close game two though. We'll stab to the heart with the bust side of Boom Bust, getting us. All right. Sideboard we go. We'll be on the play. That's always a good thing here. Boom Bust, huh? They got lucky? Oh, I mean, they're playing Boom Busts. I don't think I change anything. If anything, I take one Assassin's Trophy out for a glimpse, but as soon as I do that, I'm gonna get nailed by the, uh, I'm gonna get nailed by the <clears throat> Blood Moon. Odysseus, what's up? Welcome, thank you. 10 months. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, we're gonna send this. Let's play first. Let's not have to mull, right? Polluted Delta with a Field of Ruin. I could go get Triome, and then we're at risk of a Blood Moon. This one just spells Blood Moon all over it. How is Simeon Spirit Guide affected Red Prison List? I think 
What's funny is I could make an argument that Simeon's Spirit Guide ban is not what's influenced Red Prison the most. It's Uro and others making the meta so wide it's hard to target. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to play this Polluted Delta Town. I'm going to go get a Triome and we're going to dodge Blood Moon here. Let's get some crab hype. You guys know I have Orange Crab. He's a little off stream, but he's right there. And fish. All right, Triome it is. We'll see if this punishes us. We'll see if this punishes us. Crab land go haha <laughs> three lands i hope you have kept a one lander opponent that hesitation scared me you can shock in it's fine can you use path instead <laughs> can you use path instead uses bolt all right, we're gonna slap down new crab pass turn. Maybe this will encourage them to use a path now. No blood moon. No blood moon. Please. Definitely no blood moon now. Uh, that's almost worse. Pillage. <laughs> I need a flood real bad. I need the biggest flood ever. If you're a sub, put the flood emote in the chat. They just bolted crab. We still have crab. Come on, floods. Oh, we hit the basic. I guess that's good. I get to kill the stone forge before they smack me with batter skull. All right, step one. <laughs> Need more flood power. Okay, I don't like that, but. We're making it happen. Scavenging, scavenging hits the bin. We have a flagstones here for my opponent as well. Land? Too bad I don't have green mana. <laughs> I need your power, chat. I guess I won't have six in case they uh, give me an option here to uh, fatal push the season pyromancer. It's going to be a boom bust. I'm going to get wrecked here. Uh, at least I get to kill the season Pyromancer, I suppose. Please don't have a follow-up pillage. Don't get, like, basic land and ruin me here. Batter Skull, three unknowns. Two creatures. Put the land into play. Tapped. Smacks me for two. Who needed lands anyway? That's just silly. We kept a two lander and what are what are lands? Lands are a silly thing. Bloodbraid Elf here into Veil. It's kind of a whiff. Five damage. I have the soul of a champion. Oh my gosh, it's green mana. At least I have a binding, I suppose. We get to mill. Mill the blood braid. That's that's a W. That's a W. We could get this crypt incursion and buy us some turns. Get a crab down splendid reclamation. We just need a land. That is all we need. This is a bad thing to see, but that's okay. We have fatal push. Land. We smack the blood braid in combat next turn. Need that one land. That one land. We're at three. We died a bolt. Land. <gasps> okay. All right. So we go get scavenging, scavenging here. Okay. Actually, that would have been better to just crypt incursion, wouldn't it have? Oh my gosh. Fluffy's real bad at magic. It's all right. Now nah, we're just we're just tricking him. We're not really tricking him. Fluffy's just bad at magic. Do 
Chapter two can be bad. All right, how many do we have here? We have Stoneforge, Seasoned, Blood Braid, this Blood Braid when I kill it. We're going to pray my opponent does not have a bolt. White man is not. Oh snap! Do they have another blood braid? Oh my god! They just have another blood braid and a renin six. Let's see if that. It would have been four extra life because this gained us two instead of six. Five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Crypt incursions gaining me three, six, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It's my crypt incursion now. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I can crypt incursion myself next. I have three three creatures. Up to 14. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm alive. It sort of mattered. It wouldn't really give me much of a buffer. Can I get a damnation off the top? I have a flagstones. Go ahead, boom bust me, end me. Down to one. Down to one. I just lose, right? I don't have a way to get out of this. I take the one damage here. Have to Assassin's Trophy that. Yep. All right. Opponent's got us. I don't see any outs here. Getting stuck on a land there for a little while was definitely the problem. Being able to get a crab back and then Splendid Reclamation was going to be like a mil for 12, 15 or so. Dang it. And I don't think the Crypt Incursion, it's a punt, but I don't think it would have changed anything. Because we would have only gained another 4 life. And being at where we were at, we would have been at 5 instead. We had a 5. We had, we had, we had too much on the board. Alright. Match 2 though. We got this. We're going to win out from here. It's going to be a 4-1. It's going to change all of our luck over the last forever matches. I don't even understand what the W means in in the in the W and L category. I just see L's. I see L's. Grace, you ready for this? I see L's. I see Elsa because it's all frozen. Oh my gosh, it's been that kind of weekend. <laughs> Grayus is going to ban himself and leave. <laughs> All right, declare Luris. We have a one lander here. We know how I feel about one landers. I think we got to mulligan this. I can't see keeping a one lander. Doesn't really do a whole lot. All right. Here's a Tri-Lander with a Fatal and a Surgical and a Crab, plus Maddening. Probably keep this getting rid of what? Mm, maybe just the Island. And then I can do Watery Grave plus Fetch for, uh, what do we have, Overgrown Tomb? That seems reasonable. Sultai Mill is Fountain. Or cool. I'm gonna get rid of this island. I feel like shock and ruin crab is just safe. And then um, I can maddening or get the extra mill here and surgical something important. Fun and cool both work, exactly. Spire Bluff Canal. All right, and they're not even firing something off. Thank goodness. Extra pay, excellent. Let's go ahead and mill. Ooh. 
Oh, okay. Um, I didn't play a one drop, and we have this random crab here now. I kind of want to go get a basic now, just a basic uh, swamp. I think if they fire a, a bolt at crab, that's okay here. There was an argument to extirpate the, the lightning bolts. I could also play this turn where I just try them and then extirpate the bolt. That's probably not a bad idea. They're probably like trying to wait on this. I might be able to get them. I kind of want to do this. Let's put a triome down here. Oh, I do have this on the stack. So I couldn't extirpate. Oh, I could have held priority, right? Mm, yeah, I could have. Maybe they can give me it and then it ends step. So we'll go ahead and extirpate here the lightning bolt. This way they can't interact with me briefly because of split second. And we'll take a peek at the hand and see if surgical needs to hit like a manamorphos or something. All right. Okay, we gotta grab a quick screenshot of this. There's a bunch of ops. That's what my opponent has. We have the mutagenic opt and we have a Stormwing entity here. Yeah, we're gonna need a trophy for this. Or I need them to not commit this next turn for who knows what reason. No attack past the turn. Now, what I could do here is I could now surgical the opt. And I don't need to wait here because I don't want them to use the other ones, right? Or do I wait for draw step and try to do this? I know they have a gut shot, but maybe I do this at draw step to make them bait out a new opt and giving me another turn. I should attack to send a message and not bl block a Swiss beer. Mm, I kind of want to wait till draw step and see if I can get them to wait, but it's probably just smarter to do it now. They ended up picking up a lava dart. All right, so the new hand looks like this. Thanks, Surgical and Extirpate for not giving me what the hand is. Draw step, they would get one more scribe, but then we wouldn't have Stormwing. We could Maddening and then find ourselves something to deal with Stormwing. All right, we've played Gutshot, we've played Mountain, we've played Stormwing, we have Spire Bluff and Lava Dart remaining. And then this scry, which they scry one bottom, one top. All right, fetch lands. This does some milling. We can maddening here. I can't kill this because the fatal push doesn't kill this. I'm gonna go ahead and use this now. And let's pick up a watery grave. So next turn I can get a Luris, at least put it into my hand. We know they have Lava Dart and Spire Bluff. We, or they played the Spire Bluff, right? No, Spire Bluff was the first thing. They still have a Spire Bluff in hand. They played the Mountain game round two. So we have a Lava Dart and a Spire Bluff and an unknown card. It's a mutagenic growth, that's pretty good. All right, mutagenic. They cast Lava Dart from hand, and then two more. This might be enough to kill me. Hey, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I think this is enough, because it's Sack Sack. It's two, two more out of eight. Puts us to 12. Opponent's got a turn three kill here. We did help them a little bit with the surgical. Um, yeah. Oh, we're going to one. I thought they had another lava dart. Let's 
All right. Opponent just attacks us with Stormwing. <clears throat> we almost got there with the Splendid Reclamation. All right, Fatal Push, Profane, Crypt Incursion. You seem important. Um, my opponent does a little bit of fetching. We could strip one to two Archive Traps here. Could strip one to two Mesmeric Orbs because they're not tapping that much too. You did have a weather the storm? That makes sense. See, we haven't run into dredge, but I ran into it all morning long. Ravenous dredge. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's out there. I think this is a perfect example of why Red Prison's not doing well, is because of the broader just card pool that seems to have been opened. Hey, thank you for the follow. Um... So is there much of a reason to play Surgicals or Extirpates against this opponent? It could it could stop some burn. We really we really need probably this just this life gain package here. If I can find the bird. Yeah. I mean we can just kind of lean on the Assassin's Trophy too for it. Maybe I'm holding on to these glimpses too much, or the bindings. Let's get rid of another binding here and bring back an orb. Yeah, Blood Chief and Trophy kill it, so we have four shots to kill it, or we can try to mill them out faster. You know what, I'm gonna race this opponent and bring the glimpse in instead to try to glimpse out my opponent here. Um, we'll bring the two glimpses up there, same. All right. Pretty much wouldn't mind mill spells plus crypt incursion or profane in the opening hand. All right, Luris, give us the hand we need and deserve. It's not terrible. Hedron Crab off a of watery grave is a little bit painful, but the cling and the fatal push are nice with the orb. What's up, El Rodeo? I think we can keep this. I mean, I could even get so as as aggressive as just putting Hedron Crab in after Watery Grave is comes into play untapped. Because I'm really not doing a two drop unless I do this, and if I have a creature to kill, I'm fatal pushing it anyway. I'm gonna do Watery Grave tapped here. I don't think there's a benefit to playing Crab faster, and it makes it two more life that my opponent has to find. Well, it's blue initially. There you go. See? Soul Scar Mage. Nice. Now I want to fetch so I don't lose crab here. Fetch Shock, Overgrown Tomb. I was literally trying to save life here, and now I have a fetch shock, but I am trying to race my opponent. Let's do it. I could get this last basic swamp, but I like the idea of having my green mana, because I have just a few things that matter. And then killing this off, if they bolt the crab, and then play or play a creature and bolt the crab, at least I've got orb. And I have a few targets now in the graveyard for the cling to dust, which does gain me my three mana back. And something. Sprite Dragon, okay. Maybe would have preferred to kill that. But they also might be just playing this because I killed their creature. Bonus crab is good here. I like it. We're safe to go ahead and play Mesmeric Orb. We'll do crab things here. Orb and pass turn. Now I could take a fetch land or two in the graveyard and a splendid reclamation off the top, and I'd be pretty happy with that. All right, opponent mills a little bit here. Stormwing mill, mutagenic, and manamorphose. That's one Stormwing gone. Good, 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 good. 
I see lava dart, but only one. Good, good, good. All right, they're going in on their creature. Makes sense, respect that. Four damage. Down to 12 I go. Taps two and a Stormwing. All right, so we have a Stormwing and a Sprite Dragon here. It's a lot. We mill a little bit here. All lands, new orb. So I can cling a creature. Draw the fine trophy. We can cling away the lava dart. If I cling a creature, the lava dart's basically the three mana again, and it keeps this pumped up. Let's go ahead and steal the lava dart here. They don't have any mountains, so we get to we get we get this. Thanks. It's kind of weird because we want to play the other orb, but another orb could find a lava dart. We end up finding a land. So now it's just a mill and orb them and hope they don't have enough damage. Go ahead, opponent. I wonder if I'm supposed to mill myself with the orb here. There's a lava dart. So if they have a mountain, that's a good sign for them. Blue is an opt. This makes it seven damage to me. 22 cards to go. Land, this is a mountain. They can lava dart now, that's an additional three. That puts me to two life left if they lava dart. If they have one more spell, they win. They need one spell out of these three cards. What if they just have creatures? What if they just have creatures? They are giving this a lot of thought. So they do not have a Manamorphose. They don't have a Bolt. Oh, they have a Lava Dart in hand. They're good. They win. They win. We are at 11. This takes us to 10. Double pump. Five and a six drop. 11 damage. They take us down. <laughs> All right. Well then, not getting lucky. We were gonna mill three. One, two, three. We we're gonna top deck. Splendid Reclamation. We would have killed them. We would have killed them. We would have killed them. No. Land drop, mill six, 12, 18, 24, 30 cards. But you know. Got unlucky. So if we gain the three life there instead of drawing, we wouldn't have top deck splendid. We would have hit visions. Visions would have been enough though because I had five lands, right? Oh, so close. All right, we're 0-2. My opponent's 1-3. Remember, magic is just a fun game. What is winning anyway? All right. I don't mind this opening hand. No crab. Plenty of lands for once. I think we'll keep. We could go get Triome if I wanted to. Another land. Um, Normally I would say go get Triome here, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna play Island on the off chance that I draw a crab. If I draw a crab, I can play the crab and then pollute a Delta and use that to mill them for six. And the surgical is better. I may actually lead with Binding of the Titans instead of Maddening. It's tempting just because the Binding kind of hides what we're doing still. If I do the Maddening though, the surgical has a better hit ratio of finding something that's a little more Punch. This is a Tarmogoyf? 
Oh gosh, it's elves. Oh gosh, it's elves. Crab? That's an extra bait. <sighs> Alright, I think it is maddening now. Maddening and see what I can hit with my surgical. And if there's anything super brutal that I see, I can surgical it away. Maybe take a Lord effect. All right. I kind of want to take this Elfish Archdruid. I'll take it on the draw. I don't think they have Veil main decked. So we'll take the Elvish Archdruid here. I could take a Dwinin's Elite. The fact that they played this first means they've probably got a Dwinin's Elite. They probably don't have any good one drops either right now. I kind of want to take the Dwinin's Elite. I've convinced myself Dwinin's Elite's the proper take here because it just goes so wide. And if it's an Elvish Archdruid that my player plays, they're playing one creature for the turn. What's up? Oh man, look at that call. Look at that call. They have the Archdruid too, but they'll probably be more tempted to play Realm Welker to, Realm Welk Walker to set themselves up next turn. We could definitely use some sort of Wrath effect though, Mortal. We, we definitely need to add one of those in somewhere. All right, land was played. Please play the Realm Walker. And they play the Archdruid. I think there's a Realm Walker here, though, that I can snag, so not the end of the world. Taxes for three. There's Crab. Now I can't extirpate the Realm Walker, but I could Crab them. Yeah, Elves has been showing up quite a bit. Kind of wish I was on Red Prison now. Elves get smacked by Red Prison. Uh, yes, Elves is a real deck now. We have a Land of War and a Realm Walker. I'm gonna play Crab, I'm gonna play Binding. I'm not gonna go after what they have yet. I'm gonna use Extirpate as potentially a mill three. This also can gain me some life. I want our <laughs> Assassin's Trophy. All right, we might set ourselves up with a, um, a Luris. Keeping in mind that a Splendid Reclamation could be pretty good too. Agreed with you, Cam Draven, but because we have only spot removal on the list, the last thing I want them to do is make a Dwyan's Elite and go twice wide. I can I can kind of spot block some things. Maybe it's more correct to take the Elvish Arch Druid because the Elvish Arch Druid is going to pump them. They miss. They failed to find uh, on Burden Catacombs here. I suppose the Elvish Archdruid's buying them a lot more mana here, too. We were also going off of usually Elves doesn't have too many lands. But it looks like they've got plenty now. They have a Realm Walker in hand, and that's it. Doing the Elf here is smart because it's mana neutral. Thirty-three cards to go here. I have a Mesmeric Orb down in the bin. Got a Luris I can put to hand. Realm Walker. They chose Elf, obviously. So they get to attack me for three. Attack me for a little more than three. We'll block the two, two. All right, so I gain a little bit of life here. Not entirely sure what I'll extirpate. I think I've got to get Luris to hand, though. I 
And I definitely feel like I'm supposed to extirpate something here. And I just gotta decide what I think is the most probable thing for them to have on the draw step here. So we'll take a peek at their hand while this draw is about to happen. We currently have quite a few things in here. I think I'm just dead anyway because of the Arch Druid. Maybe I'll just take another Arch Druid here. There's two Arch Druids. There's one Heritage. Let's go take a Heritage because it takes more things. Maybe I'll get lucky that they drew it. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh. Uh, we hadn't run into a Shaman of the Pack yet. That's a really good draw though. Nice. That kind of kills me. <laughs> that plus Elvish Arch Druid activation here. This is seven for the Shaman of the Pack. Middle Sentinel, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine creatures. So Elvish Arch Druid, they pump after us taking what, nine damage or something like that? I'm good, you got me opponent. <laughs> this is why elves is a thing. All right, so. That's Fatal Push, Crypt Incursion, Profane. My opponent does not fetch, so Archive Trap out. They have like a Burden Catacombs I saw, but they really, that's the last thing they're doing. Um, let's take some extra pates out as well. And I think I wanna bring these Glimpses in. Take out one Binding, just try to really hit them and then hopefully stave off enough damage with the Crypt Incursion, Fatal Push to Profane Memento. Elves is sweet. El Elves is definitely sweet. I give the Elves the thumbs up for sure. I like these jams. They're pretty nice. Chilling on Sunday. Would I ever play Elves on stream? I have done it once. All right, let's play first. Also, after this, I might finally open up my donation list. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. All right. No blue mana again. Ugh. No blue mana, double crab. I mean, this, this, this hand doesn't cast a thing, right? So you just mulligan this, looking for something better. Ah, mortal, don't worry. Oh, swamp. <laughs> don't worry about it. All right, how all in do I want to go in on this? There's so many crabs. Let's mulligan again. <laughs> ah, one land. <laughs> I guess I have two fatal pushes here, and I could, like, get rid of binding plus one crypt incursion and use visions. Let's go for it. You know, just chill. It. No hard feelings. Hey, Mortal, I played it. It was doing pretty decent before I got on stream. I was like, let's do this instead of Red Prison. Why not? And then I joined, booted up the stream, and this is where we're at. All right, Grace, thanks. Yeah, I'm watching it on the side. We're on uh, number 23. We are gonna cycle of visions here. I need to hit my land drops. Oh, crab. Oh, watery grave. We're getting things done. We're shocking it again. Maybe I'm not. What's up, Stickball? How's it going? What up? Happy Sunday. Viking, I'm doing all right. How are you? We're, uh, 
experiencing the great beating of Fluffy Wolf in the greatest online deck building game of the century. Magic the Gathering versus Fluffy Wolf. Where Fluffy Wolf just willingly goes into leagues and gets pummeled. Alright, take an orb, pass turn. I'm not gonna leave up Fatal Push forever. I don't really know what my opponent's doing. Here, shocks in. No, they didn't shock. They tap. They fetched. They're doing nothing. Writing an essay while chilling. Nice. <laughs> Getting pummeled is your brand? Too bad. I'm taking it. Three mana. Elvish Archdruid is our player's first play. Can I get a fetch land? Orban, Orban. Ah, oh, there was a fetch land. I mean a fetch land on the third card. <laughs> Who did I hurt? <laughs> Who did I hurt? All right, we'll put Luris to hand pass turn. <laughs> My opponent's got a lot of creatures over there. The Crypt Incursion's looking really good. Not to mention they might tap out quite a bit here in order to get some things on the battlefield with Elvish Archdruid plus other creatures. So the more things that we see in the yard here, the better for us. We'll just have six to his turn, so I can just... Just dance. Have they beaten me yet? Sorry, I can't even drink water. Whatever. All right, mill three. Field of Ruin would have been a fetch-like land. Ruin crab's okay. And a new crab. All right, we do hit. All right, so this is an easy fetch here. Use this. We're going to fetch shock here. I go get a overgrown tomb. Mill again. I'm going to fatal push is the first thing I do and then see if they respond. And then I'll look to potentially put Luris into play. We got there, we got our fetch land. We're making things happen. I also sort of wonder if I'm supposed to just wait for my opponent to tap out here, and when they tap out, I could Crypt Incursion them. Because we target them, I don't want to get accidentally Veiled, which is starting to feel like what my opponent might be holding. So I might actually Crypt Incursion here, even though I could get some more creatures. I feel like that's what I want to do here. Oh gosh. We have an Azuri and an Elvish Archdruid. Now they make three mana. Oh, they're gonna Veil in response, aren't they? Oh, they're gonna regen it. How many creatures are over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a gain of 30. I could try to fatal push the Zuri. They're currently floating mana. They might want to use a Veil here, which I could then attempt a Crypt Incursion. I did just try to push the Lord and it died. I need the, the mana pool to empty here. All right, so I have the ability to... If they have Veil, we're so dead here. I can kill Azuri here. My opponent has so much mana after that though. If they have Veil, I don't think I can get them.
I guess I'm regretting shocking in there, but we'll do this. All right, opponent. How bad do you do you got me? You don't think it would be enough? It may not be. Haven't done the math. There's so many more goodies in the graveyard here, so that's good, I guess. If I can get them to magically tap out here, <laughs> which is unlikely. <laughs> uh, calcium, it, it fluctuates a lot. I've been seeing it go up by 10, 20 at a time and then down by 10, 20. It won't hold there very long. All right, my opponent is calculating the trajectory to Mars. After calculating the trajectory to Mars, they'll find the home route back to Earth. Once they find this vector, they'll be able to smash our face in and send us to the core of the world. Ready for it to get molten hot in here? I'm ready. Come on. Come on, Elvish Arch Druid. You want to use that mana? <laughs> it, it's it's all right, Calcium. We just don't have any board wipes in this particular list. Which is okay. It is okay, because that's how it was built, and that's how we're playing it. All right, what are we doing here? Shaman of the Pack. Got some black mana. Realm Walker. Okay. Now we have lots of mana. Can see things on the top of their library, right? Zuri. Please tap that other Elvish Arch Druid. I need to... Uh, I mean, I need them to tap out, but also... Uh, kind of like Russ was saying, I don't know if it, it'll work or not. They leave up Veil. All right, Orb, Mills 2. I know, Russ, but we have, like, a narrowing window to even hit my opponent with a Crypt Incursion. I mean, I guess it has to be the right play here, but there's probably got to be considerations for putting, like, Crab in or other things. I mean, I guess they could Veil this, yeah. And they're good, so they Veil either this or they're Veiling my Crypt Incursion. That's fair, Russ. Well, we get rid of it. I guess that's good. They do not have a basic, so that's good for us. We'll just pass back. <clears throat> this is what, a 4-5? Go ahead, opponent. We could definitely chum block with the Hedron Crab if we wanted to. Oh, they have a collected company. <laughs> Two elves. We have one blocker here. They have three, six, nine, 12, 15, 19 damage. I blocked the four, five. They have 16 damage. 15, sorry. I would need them for some reason to tap out a little bit. I will not F6, so it looks like I have maybe fatal push. An elvish war master. Elvish mystic. 
Um, I mean, it was doing fine in all the practicing. I actually practiced the list. We're only 0-2. We got, we got two more matches after this. It's ready for prime time, don't worry. There, they tapped down one of their arch druids. They play another arch druid. This is getting really bad. <laughs> that kind of undid the one arch druid. Now they make everything big because they have the war master. We're picking new music. Let's let's. That's that's it. That's the that's the problem. We need new music. All right. What do we got? We're gonna do uh, diamonds. Whatever that is. All right. Well, let's go again. One two o oh, two o oh, two. Next match will be Primeval Titan. I guess I'd be okay with that. I'm ready for prime time. <laughs> it's primeval Titan. <laughs> We're gonna cry. We have to decide what league number two will be as well. All right, let's go again. Dice Factory Eldrazi. Please stop wishing things on me. I don't want to play these things. I'm 0-3, my opponent's 1-3. They're double queuing in a Modern Horizon draft. Let's go ahead and put Luris. Selected. Funky Red with Chandra Phoenix, what? All right, we're keeping this. We're gonna double archive trap someone. We're gonna feel good doing it too. We're gonna feel good doing it. You watch, we got this. This is like lullaby music. All right, Polluted Delta, go ahead opponents. We got this nice triome you're going to fetch. Dang it, you're supposed to fetch. It didn't fetch. How am I supposed to get him? How am I supposed to get him? Binding. Go ahead, opponent. Oh, dang. We just showed Hedron Crab, Hedron Crab. They know what's up. We have a Teferi, though. <laughs> Gigantha versions do, obviously. Crazy Niv-Mizzets. Oh, my gosh. Fetch for me. What are you doing, opponent? And they pick up an island. They don't fetch. They're crazy. All right, well, I guess we'll get rid of the two cards for them. It's fine, we'll just empty their graveyard here. Oh, you mean with the extra paint? No, I'm good, I'm good. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. My opponent's not gonna do anything that matters here anyway. <laughs> nah, 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 mortal kills them. We got this, we're gonna mill ourselves. This is the strategy. I almost wanna like extra paint this, but they're gonna search. It's gonna be beautiful. Here we go, searching. They think Teferi's the best play on the planet. Get ready to be trapped. This is all a bait. They think that Teferi matters. Ha. Do they have white? They don't have, oh, they do have white. Okay. They can do it. Do it. Do it. Mm-hmm. You want to bounce this. You don't want me to get that crab back. Uh-huh. Yep. 
is garbage. <clears throat> Alright. Let's go ahead and archive drop them a few times here. See if there's anything interesting I want to extirpate away. Oh, your entire library. I see, I see. All right. Um, I could take a Valky, but I probably don't want to do that anymore. I see one Omnath here. I see two Bring the Lights. I see an Unmort Ego. Hmm. I think it's a one of Valky, it's probably correct. It might be just proper to take a Bring the Light. Because a Bring the Light's probably a four of. I'm gonna do this now as well. Bam, we hit a Bring the Light. They have an Omnath as well. So they have an Omnath in hand and a few other goodies. We have a Karn the Great Creator. Oh my gosh. Why do you have a Karn the Great Creator? You can't get it off of Bring the Light. We have another Valky here as well. All right, so Omnath's probably the scariest thing we need to deal with going forward. Not to mention they've only got 18 cards left. So, you know, there's, there's that. We can go get Lyris as well. Maddening's pretty good here. We'll exile Omnath. Actually, it's not to Omnath. Let's get rid of a Valky. There's not another creature, unfortunately. All right, I'll get rid of the Omnath. So we have a Maddening. I think I'll just cast Maddening here and then put a Watery Grave in tapped. We're not winning with the Lyris here. We're just trying to mill them out. So this just puts them closer to getting them totally milled out. What is the Saga? The Binding of the Titans. Mill three, then exile two cards, gain one life for each one that you uh, get there, <clears throat> and then return creature or land from graveyard to hand. Look, this hand's going to get us beat. Keep. Keep. Omnath drew a card. It's benefiting us, I suppose. <laughs> Just think. Just think. If they didn't Kaya's Guile us, we'd probably be winning. Look at that splendid reclamation. <laughs> Kaya's Guile. It's ridiculous. The Renin 6 is up to 7. We're about to get punished here. I need a mill spell. I need a mill spell. I know they have a path in hand. There's a Blood Chiefs. Ooh. Uh, they have a bolt and a path in hand right now. I mean, I, I guess I don't want them to just bolt me out here. They only have one red, though. That's kind of maybe a reason to go ahead and take care of the Omnath. I don't think Ren's as big of a problem. I'm going to go ahead and try to kill the Omnath, because the Omnath is four damage a turn, where Renin Six Emblem right now is only three damage a turn. Cool. I think the Omnath is just slightly bigger problem. This gives me probably like two turns to find something where the Omnath probably kills me in those two turns. We might have like a third turn. Maybe, maybe we have a third turn. All right, they choose to pick up a planes here. They already had white, so they didn't really need the planes. They could have get Gigantha to hand and try to play Gigantha next turn. Do they have another Omnath? 
They already played the Omnath in hand, so they would have had to top deck the other one. Another Omnath. They draw a card. Land. Okay. Attack for one. Why is this all saying add one mana of any color? Oh, world tree. Nifty. All right, so we get to play Luris here. I guess I'm I'm pretty dead, but we basically get to play Luris here and then binding. Binding mills them for three here. If I get one more turn with Luris, then I get it. They end up pathing us. Go ahead and happily go get a land. We'll get a forest. But I think they've got us now because they might have enough lands in hand to kill me. And they've got the lightning bolt down here. I take four or five. This emblem plus the bolt in hand. And they have all red now because of world tree. Bolts me. They have a breeding pool and that island at least. Bolts me. Do they have one more land? Bolt me. Dang it. They have one card. One card. I needed a mill spell, not splendid reclamation. These would have worked, sort of. Okay. I mean, what are we doing now? <laughs> what is, what are, what are we playing against? Kai's guy was clutch. Probably what, glimpses? Yeah, we're gonna have the, the extra pates in the surgicals. I'm gonna take out fatal pushes. That's probably the two glimpses. Crypt Incursion really isn't gonna buy us a whole lot. It's maybe another extra pate here. They don't know about the Splendid Reclamation. That was a double archive turn too, right? Yeah. Never found our visions to refuel. And the crabs are taking a beating. Yeah, I'm gonna... You know what? I'm gonna actually bring in the extra paid over the surgical. We'll try it like this. I think it could be one or the other. All right, Luris, let's go. Come on, Luris. Help the crabs out. All right, we can keep this. Got lots of crab power. A lot of crab power. Water grave, uh, pass the turn. Maybe crab plus double fetch. Bam, let's go. Crab in play, let's go opponent. Don't, don't hit this, play that triome like you did last time. Watery grave, that doesn't typically kill this. Let's go ahead and get crab number two down, and let's fetch away. Save the targets. We'll go get a triome as well. Cool. All right. Big mill, big mill. That was good. That was good. Ooh, good turn to mega mill. Stomping ground. What do you got for us, opponent? Explores. You don't want to be exploring, opponent. You want to be killing. Land, double mill, fetch, shock, overgrown tomb, call the mill. I'm gonna visions, but I'm taking a moment to regret playing Magic Online this weekend. Everything is against me. 
literally everything is against me. I'm going to Visions, but whew, I have to hit Extirpator Surgical here. <laughs> it's so painful. Reset. All right. Don't worry. We're resetting. That's all we're doing. As Mirror Corbin, let's go. Welcome to your world. <laughs> it's been my last week. Ah, oh, we got Valky. Get out of here, Valky. You're junk. What are you gonna play, Omnath? Okay, there's Karn. I've got an Assassin's Trophy for this. Can't activate them as Mirror Corb. Okay. Why does this opponent have a Kozilek? Quite honestly, you can't get it with Bring to Light. There's our extra pay. Let's let's just wreck this opponent. Let's just do Misty Rainforest here. Mill Mill. Fetch. Mill Mill Mill. What did we get with this? An elixir. Oh my gosh. They have an elixir from the Karn. All right, I'm supposed to what? Assassin's Trophy at this Karn here? I can't really let this like hang around. So we'll Assassin's Trophy, Karn, Extirpate is going to have to be left open in case they hit a Kozilek after this Mesmeric Orb goes off. And we have an Elixir to deal with now. When I make it to Game 3, Ravenous Trap, we're trying. Oh, do, don't you dare BTL me. Don't you dare BTL me. There's a Triome. There's Elixir. That'll be target number one, obviously. Abrupt Decay's Orb. Tomoe, what's up? 32 months. That's insane. That's crazy. So much time. Binding's kind of interesting. He had to draw the elixir. He got it off the Karn, Russ. All right, let's play land here. We're yielding to these. After he uses it, all right. So here's the Kozilek, so I've got to hit this now. So nail the Kozilek, that's out. Do you have any other stupid things that I need to worry about? I mean, look at that, Chancellor Hyper Prison list. <laughs> All right, so this happens. Opponent shuffles again. We're going to nail a... We can hit the Triome. Oh, I'm not dead. No, no, no. I'm nowhere near. I don't, well, nowhere near. <laughs> Crab trigger here, and then I'm going to Binding. And with this Binding, I'm going to take things like Bring to Light when I get that chance to. There's a surgical for us. Unfortunately, we mill a surgical. Keep in mind that we're like a splendid away from doing some interesting things. All right, we're gonna use the elixir now, or are we Kaya's guiling me. We sack and lose our graveyard. All right. So now splendid's not as in, as valuable here. I might have Tomoe. There's a growth spiral. We have a world tree again.
Hmm. Now what? I guess I hold them. Oh my gosh, they make me sacrifice the other crab. The other crab hath been sacked. All right. I'm going to steal. What do I not want to deal with in the future? The bring to light wouldn't be a bad thing to get rid of. Plus one of the guiles. Just less of those to run into. I know I have the extra pate, but I want to hit the extra pate on the elixir, obviously. They have been very interesting. Like, this will probably go up to YouTube, even if it's like an 05, because it's been very intriguing. I'm going to wait with extra pate open. I don't want to play Alluris into what's going on over there just yet. I want to pick up my crab so I can just play Alluris crab. Do we just have a bring the light here? Ah, uh, what is this read? I thought it was a sacrifice. Shuffle in your graveyard. And your graveyard. Oh, it does. It doesn't sacrifice. So I have to kill it somehow. I don't know what to do. Maybe I don't. There's crab binding. Yeah, that's the plan. So now they just shuffle this. So what I need them to do is shuffle this away. And when they shuffle it away, I need to mill it. Which you can do. We'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> <clears throat> Things are happening. All right, return crab. Play crab. No, play Luris. We're gonna play Luris, play land binding, and leave up extra pate still. I want to leave this extra paid up. I don't know why, but I have this gut feeling I'm going to need it. We're going to mill three here. There's an unmoored ego. Go ahead, opponent. Obviously, they can shuffle with Elixir, but they're probably going to do that last moment. Here they go. So do I want to hit anything here? I've already exiled... Bring the light, Kaya's Guile, and a Kozilek. I could hit the other Kaya's Guile. I don't have a creature over here that matters. Obviously, I just have to mill this then. You want me to save it for Karn? I mean, I guess they're just drawing a card here. The scariest thing is that they just use Bring the Light here. I guess it can't get the artifact, which is a good thing. I'm a little afraid of what this next card is, but we have a lot of mill next turn. And I can mill out that that um, elixir, hopefully. Ren and six is fine. Fetches. They can pick that back up, that's fine. Go ahead and pick that back up. You can have a land, I don't care. That's true. So I, you're right, I need one or the other. There's a Gigantha. Did they put that in the hand at some point? I guess they did. All right, so this is our turn to do a lot of damage to them. They attack for one in the air. All right. We have a Splendid Reclamation too. We're not going to exile anything in our graveyard because we don't want to. Okay. So now we just hit them. I mean, I could I could kick her this too. One, two, th one, two, three, four. Like I have the kicker option. I have a Verdant Catacombs fetch. I have Splendid Reclamation.
kind of like kind of like crab here and land. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six plus land. You don't think I need the extra paid at instant speed here? So crab plus maddening. I can also binding again. All right, let's just kick this and see what the heck ends up happening. Kicking it's fun. We don't get to kick it very often. So now I have a bajillion things here. I hit all four Karns. And so I can just like wait here on this now. Uh, Elixir's not over here, but I'm not going to exile Elixir. There's four Karns. So I need to somehow do a lot next turn. Let's put... Let's not put fetch land. Let's just pass the turn. My opponent's drawing one card here. <clears throat> I'm not going to pick up the Watery Grave either. I need them to not hit Elixir right now. I know I have only one land in the yard. Okay, we use a Tybalt. This is fine. I have 23 cards to go. They will not exile up. They exile Luris. This is all fine. Exactly, Grayus. Yeah. They play Luris. Oh my gosh, I have to clear them completely now because the Luris could get back Elixir if it's in the graveyard. They go get a land here. I'm getting hit for six. We have 23 cards to go. I think I'm good. Binding's not going to pick up our land. I don't think it's a... Oh, it says return. It doesn't say may. It's like forced. I don't want to do this. I want to leave that down there. Oh my gosh, I have to. I have to do this. This isn't a May. I don't want that card. <laughs> oh, da, 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 da. Now, because of the Luris, I have to find the. This exiles target artifact or creature. All right, so let's start with Hedron Crab first. Let's do a Field of Ruin because this can be used properly. Let's go Sacrifice, Nail this one, sure. We'll get Black Mana, Mill more. There's the Elixir. So now I have to hit the Elixir with the extra pay because I only have one card in the graveyard. Is there anything else Luris could hit that I don't want them to do? Because I could... I guess I have to extirpate now. Get the elixir. We're not... Oh, we are dead because of the Renin 6. You're right. I wasn't thinking of the Ren 6. I was like, no, I'm going to take four. I have one draw, but you know you're right. I'm at five. This was a hard fought. I had to mill them for I don't know how much, but it was a lot. Maybe they'll miss that they do Ren 6 ping for lethal. They picked up a land. We're going on. They picked up a land. We have a turn. We don't. They had a bolt. The top deck bolt. I milled them for more than 100, yeah. Dang it. There's an archive trap too. Land and archive trap wins it. 
We'd have to block though, so. Dang it. Ah, they're so close. Well, we're solid 04. Let's uh, salvage this and get that 1-5, one, one right? Then we'll find out what we're playing next. Ah, that was like a really good game too. Uh, Mortal, I think you've got something here. And we're just getting a little unlucky and we need to fine tune the sideboard so that we're not wrecked all the time. But yeah, uh, Calcium's right. We, we milled them for a bajillion. I can see what you're trying to do in the sideboard. We just need to, we'll talk about it. We'll, we'll talk about it. We need to respond to the phone. Wife is good. She's good. We might be just eating dinner and playing magic tonight. Which means triple league punishment and more content for you all. Oh my gosh. Ms. Miracle Orban, Splendid Reclamation. Um Alright. Grayus, fine. Keep. We're gonna we're gonna pull off the Splendid Reclamation right here. This is a ham sandwich hand. Ham sandwich. We got this. Incoming thought seas. Snow covered island. That's not a thought seas. Witching well. Oh my gosh. I don't want to mill this person probably. Here to poverty. Exactly. We'll have to figure out dinner in between maybe somewhere in there, but we might be able to do three or so leagues tonight. Extra bonus content. And then I won't send you over to Avaros. Everyone thinks this is an Avaros waiting stream. It's not. It's the fluffy all day stream. Oh, no, Grace. Mission, uh, mission, prove you wrong. That's the goal now. <laughs> Maybe we'll play like just Demir Mill. Oh gosh, it's Emery. All right, we got a Bobble, Metallic Rebuke, some lands here. Dang it, got the Crab. All right, we gotta get the Crab going though. I kinda wanna put the Orb down first though. Hmm. Let's do the orb. Something in my gut tells me just play orb, then worry about Ruin Crab next with the Polluted Delta. Milling three here off the Ruin Crab, or, or a little bit more, but basically a three, because I do a land drop there versus this orb mill two, plus maybe another mill three. This orb just gonna, gonna mill more. <clears throat> when Fluffy isn't playing a deck with red, it's such a clickbait. Is that the only way I can get you here? Uh, this is not the only list playing Bobble. We have a list that plays Bobbles before, during, and after the Uro ban. We could also play a list that we got from Dragon Fodder a while ago, who's a Brewer. We might we might flash that one up there. That's a red deck, but it does some crazy things with one of the new God cards. All right, sort of the meat here. It's scaring me a little bit. Dredge? What? Oh, Dredge the Bed. I'm like, this isn't Dredge, Russ. Taking advice from Russ. Emery activation here getting Bobble. Bobble gets back and checks out the top of our library. One of the mods or, or one of our fans here can probably link you to one of our lists. 
All right, a couple orb triggers here. I'm almost hoping that only lands go, but of course crab and land. Okay, all right, it's reasonable. Let's put our crab down here, polluted delta pass turn. I'm gonna just fetch immediately, because why not? Why not? Let's get a water grave. Mill mill. Uh, probably Croxus Elemental Graeus. That's one with a bobble. Uh, it could also be something else. Depends on what they're looking for. But I think they were looking for Croxus Elemental. All right, we got Goblin Engineer. We're, we're orbing. We're doing things. Got a land down here. I'm probably going to mill one more here to try to get another land into the graveyard so that Splendor Reclamation is just that much more potent. After all, my opponent's down to 29 cards here. My opponent gets a Thopter Foundry. Okay. Having a second crab here would probably make this Splendid Reclamation lethal. Let's float our mana and mill three. Assassin's Trophy, Assassin's Trophy, Binding, of course. All right, we can unlock the Archive Trap here. We hit the Steam Vents over here. If we do that, we mill for six. Six plus 13 is 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I don't like that. Let's go ahead and nail the steam vents here. We have a high probability of hitting all the wor uh, the Urzas, and if we can hit all the Urzas, then they can't like full combo us. There's Foundry doing Foundry things. There you go. There's probably one of the lists. I'm going to swamp here, now that we've forced them to search. Get to Archive Trap as well. That puts them to 10 cards remaining. Splendid, Ar Splendid Reclamation is a kill here. I see one Urza, two Urza, three Urza. I only see three Urzas here. Makes me a little nervous. Is Miracle Orb? Spellskite? Spellbomb? Sword? Goblin Engineer. Okay. They have five cards remaining. Excluding the fact that a fetch land wins, Splendid Reclamation will win as well. <laughs> Excluding that small detail where Splendid Reclamation really isn't any better than a fetch land. We got there. We kept kind of a sketchy hand, too. I'm surprised how well that worked. Okay. Extirpate. Cling to dust seems okay. I think some soul guide lanterns and glimpses are in order. Potentially ravenous trap. Fatal pushes I'm going to take out here. Blood chief I'm going to take out here. I'm going to take one assassin's trophy out. Two orbs. How's this looking? Maybe I want the ravenous traps over the lanterns. It did great, didn't it? It did so great, maybe we should bench one. You know what, I'm gonna bench both of them and play the Assassin's Trophy. We've tried to do Splendid so much now, it's time to bench it. it, uh, it it's going to retirement, and we're gonna just enjoy something that looks like blue-black with a little bit of green. There you go. Green for the sideboard. Let's play Larry's here. Let's look for double crab hands. No! I have all my sideboard cards, we're gonna keep this. <laughs> Blue black with a little piece of green. Yep. 
I think trophy's really good. I've really enjoyed the trophy. Yes, fetch. Yes, yes, fetch. Yes. Perfect. Nice. Get blasted. All right. The question is, what do I want to take with this extra paint? What do we want to take? I see a Thopter Foundry here. I also see Urza. What probably kills me more? Do we think Urza kills me more? Than a Thopter? We have the sword and the Thopter here. I could cling away the sword if my opponent plays like an Emery. I do not have bridges. I'm really worried about an Urza. That's true. They could be running a Karn. We didn't see a Karn, but I think Urza is the scariest thing for me, just because I have a Soul Guide Lantern cling to dust that I can play next turn. Oh gosh, we have a bunch of Thopters anyway. My opponent's all ready for this. They're just like, I got this. All right, screenshot of the hand. Got it. Whoop. Was there anything in the main deck that we're worried about that could recycle the hand? Iker, Icker, Metallic, Mishra's Nile, Pithy Needle? Answer's no. Alright. Clear for takeoff. We are clear for takeoff. What are we playing after this? Probably Kling and Soul Guide Lantern. My opponent's gonna play probably this Thopter. And now the Thopter is useless because I'm gonna like Soul Guide Lantern in the graveyard. And we'll leave up Kling just in case. I can even seal the Sword of the Meek if I wanted to here and not even worry about playing the Thop or the, the Soul Guide Lantern right now. Oh, for League 2? I, I don't know. What do we have? We have like nothing here. Blasted. Everyone's like, no, Fluffy, don't do that. I'm doing my way and we're gonna win. Watch. Do you think I'm running too many basics? Um, no, because you want a basic forest in there. I just happen to find them all the time. We can, we'll look at it, Mortal Kill Zone. We, we got, we got you. Um, Quiet, we thought about that all in red black list that we saw and played against earlier. We could do that. That is not a land my opponent had in their hand. Look at this. No Hallowed Fountains. A Thopter, though. Okay. We're not going to use Kling just yet. I'd like to use it against something maybe in the graveyard. There we go. And pass. Loki just fallen asleep. Any interest in a Boros Sunforger deck? No. Sorry. Three mana, four, five. We're gonna whir. I'm gonna have Field of Ruin in response. I'm a little bit nervous here. I won't have Kling up, but the last thing I want them to do is Pithy Needle and I can't get to blue mana. Take them off their white. Go ahead, opponent. Am I gonna run Black Prison soon? Probably not. Alright, Last God, we'll look at that between rounds. Ooh! Ravenous Trap. Now I kind of want to just, uh, well, I think I... Hmm. I 
Let's play crab here and then the forest to mill a little bit. And then I have a cling activation plus ravenous to try to get rid of the sword here. We should be okay here, I think, to do this. Okay. Your move, opponent. So there's sword activation one. Let's actually Ravenous Trap because then I can get a Cling activation if they don't go for this again. And Floating One Black makes it look like I was trying to pay for it. It doesn't give away that I have a Cling in hand. There we go. And in response to this, we'll snag the sword now. Look at that draw. It's a fetch land. Fetch land. Cool, we got it. All right, a couple Thopters to beat. 27 cards to go. Will this be the W that we've been needing this entire league? After all, do we ever go 05? Exactly, what are fetch lands? <laughs> Goblin Engineer, my opponent's gonna go put something in the graveyard. This could be another sword. How many swords do you have? I got rid of two. Black Prison would be awesome to see. I don't know if we'll play it or not. Ooh, Icker Wellspring. I like that. That's nifty. Land for my opponent. I'm not keeping track of what they have in their hand anymore. The answer is nothing that I know. Two unknowns. All right, so we have a Triome here. We have a Kling that could be used. A glimpse. I kind of want to field away the red source here and glimpse them. But I know that's going to get a lot of options for this goblin engineer, probably. Oh well, we got to mill them out some way. You do like holding up cling? I think, I think we just go for this, like, really aggressively. Like, I think they're just grasping at straws, and then also getting rid of the red here. If they don't have another red, um, we end up shutting off the Goblin Engineer, and it looks like that's the case. Hedron Crab here again, and we'll smack them with a glimpse. We'll pass the turn. You have nine cards, opponents. Good luck. Let's get this W. Let's get this W. <laughs> Shouldn't we have Glimpse first and say uh, had the mountain? Uh, we got to see their library. And I have a small affinity for seeing lands. And, you know, we're the mountain folk. So I was just tuned in to that I didn't see a mountain. But yes, if you didn't double check their basics, because we're Blood Moon players. But if you didn't, then yes. This Flooded Strand, though, this gets them a red plant. I believe they have a Steam Lavens left. Oh, they don't, okay. Boom! Doesn't matter, we got we got there. You're, you're correct, Reyes, I'm just trying to make myself look smart. I'm not really smart. <laughs> look at that, one four. Look at us, we're a champion. So, we have the Mill Sultai thing. Let's go ahead and cut the music briefly. And let's talk about what we ended up running in against and some observations that we have here. So, well, it was doing fine, Mortal. It's not a, it's not bad. I think sideboard-wise, let's look at this really quick. We have Cling, we have Extirpate, we technically have Crypt Incursion, we have Ravenous Trap, we have Soul Guide Lantern, and we even have a little bit of Profane. We'll put Profane over here. We have 10 cards that target my opponent's graveyard, not to mention that we also have two extra pates and two surgicals. So you have 14 of the 75 cards that are going after the graveyard. I know that obviously our game plans to go towards the graveyard and try to clear the graveyard and that's where things are there to grab, but I think we need to be a little bit more 
little more open-ended on what we have here in terms of cards and how we're milling, what we're using green for, and then also what we might be needing in terms of staying alive for our main plan to work. To me, I think you need some sort of damnation. I think you need a Bantus. Wouldn't even be opposed to seeing maybe an Ashiok. I know that's going to interfere with some of the Crypt Incursions. Because we're not playing bridge here, we need something of those two categories, I think. The other thing I like is your weather the storm idea or looking at different green cards that could benefit this list. Um, let me think here. What would be a good green card? Obviously, Assassin's Trophy and Abrupt Decay are probably both probably fine. Assassin's Trophy is turning on your archive trap, so that's kind of cool. Um, I kind of am... am, am <sighs> I see Handsome saying Goyf. You could, you could theoretically play like a couple Goyfs and try to have this little bit of Sultai, oh, and I can attack you kind of strategy. Um, I do like Pulse. Pulse gains you, what, six and then returns land or spell, I think. I like that. I think you could also look at some of the newer cards that are coming out that will be in the green and black, the green and black school for magic uh the magic schools that they're doing for the new set uh, i'm trying to remember that command that just came out or that that charm but that one's probably okay i think exploring that a little bit could be interesting as well also what's a sultai charm do for us because i'm always kind of interested now that you're a tricolor what what um the charms do for you i don't always remember Monocolor creature, artifact or enchantment, draw to discard a card. All right, so Salt Eye Charm's probably not worth it. That's true. I think you, you might just need something a little bit bigger for the prowess matchup, life gain or land destruction, or not land, uh, creature kills. Let's talk about your mana base really quick. So your mana base is probably okay, you're probably running just a hair too many basics. I would cut potentially one swamp, but if you don't want to cut the one swamp, cut a field of ruin. I know you've got two of these and you've got the assassins trophies for ways to make your opponents discard, but I think I was running into enough situations where I'd prefer one more either Misty or Verdant Catacombs rather than a field of ruin. Um, I like the basic forest. I think you should keep this, but if it starts to become a problem, add back in a breeding pool for this and just take the hit if you play against Blood Moon that you're not going to be able to get around it. That would be my only thing. And if you end up running into enough Blood Moons that you feel like you need this basic forest, you may want to be able to change the sideboard a little bit and maybe have a pair of Aether uh, Gusts as well so you could fetch Basic Island and still have an out. Because keep in mind, if you're trying to get all three colors... It will take you a bit of time, and Bloodman is trying to become come out on turn two. But yeah, maybe a breeding pool could be added here. Maybe an extra triome if you feel really greedy about it. I know the triome comes into play tap though. But yeah, I'm thinking one to two damnations, or fatal pushes, collective brutalities, or something to kill creatures. Maybe Blood Chiefs, just something in the sideboard. And let's cut back a little bit on the graveyard. I think if there was a graveyard card to keep in the main deck, it would be Cling to Dust. So if you wanted to cut a Surgical or Extirpate, move the Cling to Dust in, bring the Surgical or Extirpate here so you have a little bit extra. Maybe cut one Crypt Incursion and then maybe one Soul Guide Lantern. Soul Guide Lantern works really well with Luris. But if you're running into enough dredge, then Ravenous Trap. I immediately cut this, like I said, joking on the Discord, and ran into four dredge matchups, so. There you go. You could even play like a Hex Drinker. That'd be kind of funny. I like it. I, I think there's something here in the Sultai world. I know it's obviously changed because the Uro's been banned, but I, I think I really enjoyed the binding of the Titans, especially with Luris. Almost so much so that I would almost entertain playing two to three Luris's main deck with the binding and then using that as a way to get some life gain kind of shoved into the list. Uh, they're using extra pates right now because they didn't 
couldn't afford surgicals because surgical is really expensive. But as you hopefully win more, you can maybe get these surgicals. All right. And that was Sultai Mill.